Hello, Tony. It is Thursday. And mistakes have been made. Oh, Many mistakes have been made that I regret none of. So, as you may or may not know, I'm a huge fan of the Mass Effect series. I've, I, played the, I played the original trilogy, loved it. It was the last game I can really say I just dove into and didn't get out of until I, until I had finished. Well, something big happened two days ago. <laughs> Mass Effect Andromeda was released. Oh my goodness, where... I know where she is. I just forgot where she is. So, needless to say, you know what I've done a lot of the past couple days? Mass Effect Andromeda. You know who else has done a lot of Mass Effect Andromeda? Hi! The one currently playing! Taylor, who is currently playing. <laughs> um, the game is awesome. It's so much fun. It's... I, like, a lot of people were worried... Uh, it's it's gotten kind of mixed reviews from a lot of people. I'm still in But I'm going to do something. The game is phenomenal. It's so much fun. I have a blast playing it. Is it the greatest game ever made? No, of course it's not. Is it still a really, really, really fun time? Oh, yeah. Like, um, let's see. I picked it up on Tuesday. And I think I'm about 10 hours in. Maybe. Yeah, because I played about four or five hours the first day. I played it four or five. You had about s five hours logged when I went to get my three hours, like to look at my three hours. So you played, you played at least five to six hours. Yeah, I probably haven't gone too much. Yeah, I played probably about five, six, maybe seven hours. Like I've only actually gotten up like the first planet, but it's it's been a lot of fun. I actually um. Taylor had been playing a lot of Fall, but was kind of done with Fallout, so I was like, hey, hey, you should play Mass Effect, you should play Mass Effect, you should play Mass Effect. He pushed hard enough. And what's your opinion so far? I like it. Like, I told her, like, hey, you should play this, and she decided to play it, and she really, really liked it. Oh! Oh! <laughs> so, just like in every single Bioware game, part of the draw is you have romanceable companions. All of your companions have certain likes, desires, and there are certain companions who you can, you know, have a relationship with. In the original trilogy, um, in the first game, I always got into a relationship with uh, Liara Tasani, who's the who's the uh, the Blue Asari Doctor. And then in the second game, every single time I've played it, I've always had a relationship with Miranda Miranda Lawson, who is, you know, a pretty awesome woman. Who, some people hate her, I always really liked her. And I'm actually going to go into a different room. So that way you don't get distracted. Yeah, so I don't get distracted by the game, so. We're going on an adventure! Do -do -do -do. But yeah, so. Mass Effect. <laughs> um, yeah, actually, uh. It's it's been a good time. Something kind of funny actually happened today. Um, so I ended up um, I ended up sleeping through my alarm, and by the time I actually woke up, my class was already my class was halfway over. So I already got notes from all my friends and such. But what I did instead, like I woke up, ate breakfast, and I was like, well, I'm not gonna be able to get to class. I'm not gonna be able to get to this class today. So I'm gonna go play Mass Effect, <laughs> and so I did. I actually said I ended up beating the I ended up beating the first planet, which is really cool. Taylor is actually um we're basically neck and neck in, in the story so far, which is kind of neat. Cause uh, the last time we kind of traded off on a game was Fallout last year, and for the time that we were both playing it, we got to basically the same exact levels. Then eventually Taylor stopped and I started playing a little bit more, so that made a difference. But this one said that at the moment we're completely and totally neck and neck. She's actually slightly. She's slightly further ahead in the main story. I'm slightly further ahead in some of the side quests. But it's just the way the game is set up. It's it's been a really fun game. Now um it's gotten mixed reviews. Some people really don't some people have really don't like it. Uh problem is like um I'm under the assumption that a lot of people wanted this game to fail. The thing about BioWare is they are super, super, super um social social justice oriented. So that's why, like, um, almost every single race, gender, sexual orientation is you. You can be in this in this game. Like, uh, what's funny actually is um, I'm playing a, I'm playing the female writer, who's a female player character, because I always saw her as a female, 
Taylor always saw him as a male, or saw, saw the writer as a male, so she's playing as the male. And uh, it's kind of cool to see just how different our stories are involving your uh, interactions with your companions, which is very cool. And about your video, I get that you're really excited for Doctor Who. I haven't watched any of Peter Capaldi, so I don't, I don't know anything about it. Like, it's not on Netflix anymore, unless I would have watched it, but since it's not on Netflix, I can't watch it. <laughs> unless I want to, you know, go through means that are a little bit, uh, less than reliable, to say that in the best way possible. <laughs> but, um, I get you're really excited, and, uh, like, so far, what's been your opinion on it? Um, is... Is, is the Peter Capaldi Doctor worth watching? If it is, um, let me know, because I could... I, I hope it ends up back on Netflix. I don't know if it ever will. But I'm sure there are other ways that I'd be able to watch it. But, uh, Tony, that was basically my week in a nutshell. Mass Effect, Mass Effect, Mass Effect. And I will see you on Tuesday. Later.